Girlfriends Chit Chat Show. My name is Amira Bay, and we welcome you again for this amazing show. Of course, if you've never been a part of the Girlfriends Chit Chat Show, here we talk about life, business, and trust me, everything in between. But we have a fabulous, and let me say this again, a fabulous <laughs> guest with us today, Miss Rhonda Evans. Hello. You know, we're so excited to have this sister with us today, y'all. <laughs> this is my girl, y'all. When I tell you she's everything, content, website, y'all, we're going to dive deep today. Yeah. But Rhonda, tell everybody about you. So, my name is Rhonda Evans, originally from Detroit. Anytime you see me, you will always hear that. So, remember, I'm from Detroit, but I am a Charlotte re uh, resident. I've been here long enough. I guess I'm a Charlotte Indian now. You are. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I claim it. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I am. I have a new title. I have been a part of a program that has really been reshaping my business. And when I thought about what what is it that I really do instead of having all of these layers, I'm a productivity consultant. Everything. Ooh, wow. I, <laughs> what? Because it's like everything that I do it's is helping perfect. businesses be more productive okay. in their business. And so it just made sense to reframe it and say, you know, instead of saying I'm a website designer, I do CRM implementation, I do email marketing, I'm a productivity consultant. And so shout out to Amp Up Charlotte for really helping me and working with me to get more clarity in my business. So if you ever have an opportunity to apply for that, absolutely do so. Oh, absolutely. that's awesome. I absolutely love that productivity, productivity consultant. consultant. Because we're always trying to better our productivity skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because we don't know how to micromanage. <laughs> Look, I'm, I don't want to micromanage. <laughs> right? yeah, so let me tell you, but it really is who she is, right? Right. So, because y'all know when people come sit on this couch, they be our real friends. Yes. <laughs> our real friends. This is my real, real friend. Real friend. <laughs> Every, if I call her with something, it's like off the rep. She just knows what to tell me to do, what to, how to put it together, right. what, what's going to make it flow. She is very genius in her thought process. I don't care who you are. She can tell you how to make things come together. And I I know she'd be like, oh, here comes Shauna. I'm like, Rhonda. <laughs> but she's a genius at it. So tell us about the different intricacies of being a productivity I love it. I love it. <laughs> a productivity consultant. Like, it's, it's, come on now. Well, you know what? I think people often want to jump in to the thing, right? right? Whatever the platform is or whatever the task is. But it's really about strategy first. Right. Like, you can't jump into any type of a platform. You can't jump into, oh, I want to do this without mapping out a strategy first. And so I like to begin with strategy sessions because in that strategy session, you might get everything you need. Right? You might not have to pay the higher ticket to do all the other things, right? And what I also discovered in this season, right. <laughs> in those seasons, is that I, I identify really who I like working with, who I enjoy working with. You like right? working with me? I do. You're different, though. You in the you in the different pockets. <laughs> but you got to be with everybody. But you got to be Hold up, y'all. But you know everybody's not your customer. They're, they're they are not. They're not. You try. They you, are not. You, you're thinking you can get everybody, but it's not. Everybody's not a fit for you. And that's yeah. a good thing, mm -hmm. right? You know, truth be told, in the beginning you're thinking, I'm getting ready to get this to everybody. I'm getting ready mm -hmm. to hustle all this. And then you start yes. saying, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Yeah. It's not about the money. It's not. And you know what? I, I I'm pretty sure y'all can agree with me. I have been that people pleaser. Right? I oh, wanted to help yeah. everybody mm -hmm. do everything. Yeah. I didn't want to let anyone down. And what I realized is that there are two segments of clients that I love, but work with them very differently. So in this moving forward, those small business owners, while I love them to death, they are going to go more onto my digital side. So I want to give them and empower them mm -hmm. uh, to do the do-it-yourself, right? Because oh, they good. need to get their hands in there and then I just map it out for them. You know, if you want to book a strategy session, you can do so and we can talk through it. But for the meat and potatoes of it all, you're going to be on the digital side. And then for the clients that I enjoy working with at this point in my life, it's more on the corporate side, right? And yes, those are, right. they do happen all to be right. the higher ticket. I mean, I can afford to now just have like five clients a year, y'all. Friends. Come on. <laughs> like, if I That's can transition. see you 
to shift that way. Come on. It's like, and it's already starting without me even realizing it. And this is why, this is why you do not burn bridges. Like I had a client who I did a website for, and it's a process, right? You it work is. with me. It's a it process. Is a pro- it is a process. So when I first sent her her first draft, not the final, she was like, "What is this? This is not what I want. It's rushed." Like she was freaking out. And so I said, "Well, this is how this goes." And I walked her through the process. And after she got her final draft, she was like, "Oh my." God, I'm so sorry. I love it. And since that time, she has worked with me to do other uh, things with her for her clients, right? So now she's in a new position where she's working with the university and they are doing so many things manually. Everything is email, email, email. They have no uh, project management process in place. And so she, hey, Rhonda, can you help us do this? But and when I, I tell you, you but that's good because that you're building those relationships. Huh? Is it who I think it is? Look at this. No. I'm sorry, y'all. Look, look, see, this is what we do. I'm sorry, y'all. See, real friends, real friends. Real friends. See, you forget sometimes. Right. We got you there. But we, right. look. We love our audience. We love our audience. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to capture your homies. But, you know, and that really was the first indication for me. Like, I've known this this whole time, Rhonda. Just step into it. Don't be afraid. So, literally, y'all, don't be afraid. You know, write it out every single day. There is no, I can't even tell you how many notebooks that I have at home that have all of these plans in here that have consistently pretty much been the same. Right? <laughs> been the same. And now it's time for execution. And you, and if you're scared, it's okay. That's true. Because mm. it's, the amount of times that you have to reinvent yourself, it's okay. I'm telling you, oh, like, that's good. I have that's literally good. gone in so many different seasons. So now I'm literally thinking about changing the name of my business to everything. And I've been thinking about this for the past oh, six wow. months. So I'm like, I want to rebrand. I want to change the name of my business. I want to still have that um, feeling of giving you the best client experience, but in a different way. Right. In a much different way. I like that. And I'm going to tell you something because, you know, y'all see we got IQ cards. <laughs> <laughs> you are professional. So professional. <laughs> but I, I had a question on here, and you really answered this question mm-hmm. already, but, the, but in my thought process. So the question was, what and when was the turning point for you in your business when you knew that you had to do something different? Mm-hmm. And I was, I'm able to ask that question because I know that there was a turning point before this one. But this is like the hijack, right? This is like Ooh. old turning point, mm-hmm. new turning point, new season. And I think that it is, listen, God, up, let me tell y'all, God up to something. Because I know this feeling. I was telling Amira just the other mm-hmm. day. I literally yesterday coached a manager mm-hmm. at, in the corporate space, See? right? Over the phone, how to handle her, her clients, not her clients, but her team, right? Which is what I really want to do. You see that? Didn't we talk about this? Listen, you? let me tell you. But sometimes, you know what, you know what, sometimes <laughs> you see it, but you don't see it. Yeah. When you start working in your, you're actually working in where you're supposed to be. Exactly. Yeah. And you weren't doing that before. So now, I, I tell you, you sometimes, so those are those things be. you start to see, and it's like, okay, this is where I need to be. Yes. Are you in the place that you need to be at? Yes. And are you working in that space? And if not, where are you going, what are you going to do to get to that point? Mm-hmm. That's good. You know why? Because... What I noticed yesterday is it's a whole different feeling. Mm-hmm. It's a whole Very different so. feeling of saying, I was on the phone with her like, I'm a genius. If you have your own self I was like, I'm a genius. But that light bulb, that light, but that light bulb went off. That light bulb went off. And when you have that light bulb go off, like you said, now I'm in that season of reinventing, changing some things. I'm pivoting, but not as much. Yes. You're still doing some of the same things, but I'm wanting to embark and doing more corporate. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm wanting to move into other arenas. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, I want people to understand that a lot of times we get to a place where fear yeah. overrides. Yep. And we're like, okay, but I, I think I can do it, mm-hmm. but if I go through with it and it's not successful, at least you can say, well, God, I did it. Mm-hmm. I right. finished it. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, God says, now let's look back at what you did. Absolutely. Right. And what you going to do different next time? Right. You know what it is, though? I think people, for, for me, for example, you feel like, wait a minute, if I do this, yeah. who's going to pay this price? Oh, that Who is going to really pay me to do this? 
am I that good? And so, for and I can use me as an example, the way that you show up is how you uh, validate, right? To say, hey, I am this person. This is why I'm this person. Right. So while I'm not going to be working with one-on-one uh, -on -one as much with my small business owners, they have my YouTube channel, right? That's free content. That shows me there showing you go. up, there right? You go. There's my email list, right? That's me adding value, showing up. And then there's the, the courses, right? You have no idea how many people are watching you, literally watching you. That's right. And just That's waiting right. to say, you know what? I remember she did X, Y, and Z. Let me reach out to her and him, right? So keep on showing up and don't feel like, oh, everybody has to pay for everything. Yes, the goal is to make money, right? Yes, it is. But at the end of the day, there's Service. some free stuff that you can serve your people and give them yeah. that, that same type that. of level of content, right? But, but let me say this one, though. Please understand there is a such thing as a person's value and their worth. That part. And I don't want people to think that because... Even though I may not be the, the person for you, mm -hmm. there may be somebody else you're connected to that needs my services. Mm -hmm. That's, That's come on, exactly champion. it. That is exactly you know, it. I don't want to kill it. Because see, mm -hmm. maybe we can't connect. Maybe you can't afford me right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to come. But there may be somebody in your circle mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. may need that you. That work is everything. Yes. When I first started my podcast, I didn't even think about oh, who's gonna be on my show there you go. I literally reached out to my network there you go. and literally everybody said yes and there were some people who I was connected to through other people and when I like there was one particular person like, oh my gosh she's such a big deal she's gonna say no and she totally did not and when I went to go get my nails done one day she was in there getting her nails done and I was like did we for this is our first time being the first person and that podcast episode was like three years ago I think and she remembered me and we had never met in person we weren't even on the screen when we did the interview <laughs> right see and that's what i'm talking about it's always building those relationships mm -hmm. we're not gonna go there miss miss queen of relationships i'm not gonna talk relationships with y'all today y'all understand and know what y'all say so that's a whole other tangent Look, but if you, if you not, like i said the main thing we want to always remember is building those relationships mm -hmm. Growing and being the individual that you're meant to be. Absolutely. And not operating in someone else you're not. Exactly. Y'all, we lose ourselves because we do, we wear all these hats. We wear mom, we wear wife, we yeah. wear friend, Oof. we family member, we wear all of yes, these we do. hats. And so you asked me a, that question about what was the pivotal moment. But before you answer it, mm -hmm. I want to rephrase that. Okay. Because now I want to know what is the difference from the first time you pivoted mm. compared to now oh goodness it has everything to do with trusting god what? oh my god well, well, there we go. Go. Oh, my go. Go. <laughs> right. like i think before i've always can say oh i know god will provide i know he will do anything better than what i can even ask for but there was still that element of fear yes mm. there was like oh if i tiptoe out here you know if i fall who's gonna catch me even though i know the answer right, right right but now this time i completely absolutely unequivocally trusted god like he has who when i tell you has showed out you like you want to get up and shout a little let something. me tell you something i've been so full all week come on so now. full because i i don't deserve it but there yes, you, things, no let me tell you why i say that because there are things that you know we know to do yeah we know what we're supposed to be doing that's on this true. journey that's and true. on this walk that's true. and we don't always do that we fall right. short sometimes we do so it's like lord i'm asking you but i know i done messed up right right and and so i still have to trust it because at the end of the day he is my father Listen. he is my everything and i know that you know while our parents chastise us they still gonna love us and that's they still right. gonna help us. That's and so, true. and that is exactly what God has been doing. He has chastised me, but he has also provided. And so this time, that whole faith thing is on a Amazing. whole nother level. level. But I always remember too, I always tell people this, fear and faith cannot reside in the they same cannot. space. They cannot, they cannot. And that's what made the key difference. That made the key difference because that faith was there, but that fear, fear was there knocking it out of the way. Mm -hmm. And so I backtracked. And I didn't trust him. There you go. I had I was making my own decisions. Like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> yes. right. you, you were driving. Oh, yeah, you was driving. Right. Instead of him driving, you were driving. Exactly. Oh, okay. it she was like, way. "Okay, God, ride with me." Right. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> I like, okay, God, ride with me. Can you sit in the back seat and sit right? Right. Yeah. Like, and God made the passenger seat hitting the brake. 
like this. Yeah. <laughs> That makes a difference. Mm-hmm. That makes a difference hugely just in life, period. Whether you're in business yep. um, or whether it's in your personal life, that makes a huge difference. Mm-hmm. So what do you like most about what you do? Productivity. Oh, my gosh. I, I just think love that. I, I think love it's that. the people. Right? It's always the, the people. It's, it's the people. always the people. It's Listen. the people, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, I get to meet so many people on this journey that I probably never would have typically encounter and so the people everything is everything listen relationships Mm -hmm. change lives they do relationships is just not a um i was hearing somebody say the other day uh, you know when you're networking you want to go and you want to talk to as many people as you can no you want to be intentional right yeah because you're right be intentional with the alignment Mm -hmm. is so important to the Mm -hmm. assignment right and if you out here just i I like like that that, right Y'all right there. Right there now. Y'all know I got a t-shirt. Come on. I got a t-shirt that says no alignment equals no assignment. That like, is true. That's the truth. It's There's very important. There's a website. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, because your real friends are plugged in. Y'all yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But it makes a difference yes. in how you work with people, when you work with people. Yes. When I do business with my homie, because y'all know I'm going to look those guys out here. <laughs> when I do business with my homie, I do business with her because... Of the customer, I don't care what's happening in life. I'm always gonna call her to do business, but it's the people. It's the people. Mm-hmm. So get you some people. We yes. we got people. Yes. Yeah, get you some. So Rhonda, tell everybody how they can connect with you. So you can reach out to me on my directly on my website, rdevansconsulting.com, on social media at the t h e Rhonda R H. Oh yeah, because people will put R O R H O N D A Evans um, on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Um, yeah, like if you Google me, you'll find me. <laughs> look, y'all. Look, Google the productivity coach. Look, if you're trying to get your stuff together, you all. I don't care. She, she's everything. Everything you're looking for. Website. You know, everything you need on your back end for your business. Definitely connect with Rhonda. But we thank you for being here. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is always fun. <laughs> yes. This is fun. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> but we thank you all again for being a part of the Girlfriend's Chit Chat Show. We'll see you again. Have a great one. Good night. <laughs>